Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on today's show, Mobility Services is a new and very interesting part of the automobile world. It's only been with us for maybe, I don't know, a couple of years or so, but the way we buy cars or consume automobiles and even use them on a daily basis could change quite drastically over the next several years when you think about ride sharing or even you think about a Lyft or an Uber option as well. It's an interesting way of how we're going to get around in the future and how maybe we won't even own automobiles but basically do a different style of leasing. That brings us up to date with the folks over at Porsche. Porsche's got a brand new pilot program that is launching in Atlanta, Georgia to see if this thing could be scalable to be all over the planet. And it's called the Porsche Passport App. Basically with this deal you lay down $500 you have to go through a background check and a credit check, and if you jump through all those hoops, you get in on the ground floor. The ground floor is $2,000 a month. For your $2,000, you get to pick any of eight different options inside of Porsche's lineup. These vehicles include the Cayenne and even the 718 Boxer and the 718 Cayman. This becomes very interesting because all you have to do is figure out how long you're going to need a vehicle, albeit maybe just a weekend or a couple of days or whatnot, and when you want the vehicle, and Porsche will actually deliver it right to your home or business or wherever you so desire. This makes it quite interesting. Maybe you got a weekend where you want to schlep around the spouse and kids, and a Cayenne would be perfect for that type of situation. But maybe the next weekend you want to go pounding around and drink some canyons or whatnot, and maybe the 718 Boxster or Cayman would be a better option for that go round. It's a pretty neat little situation that you can do with this group. Now, you can up this to $3,000 a month, and for that $3,000, you get 22 different options of machines. Now it's become a lot more interesting of what you can actually have, including a McCann GTS along with a 911 Carrera S. Now this is pretty doggone interesting little program. Now, I thought, you know, $2,000, $3,000 is pretty expensive. You're basically leasing these automobiles, so for a little bit of context, I looked up what it would cost to lease a 2017 911 Carrera, and that would cost you for a 36-month lease, it would cost you $7,200 down and $1,200 a month, which is not exactly close, albeit you're going to be stuck with that Carrera for three years unless you want to opt out of the lease or bounce up to a different vehicle inside of their lineup. But this would pretty much mean that you could have a different vehicle for almost every day of the week or every week of the month, so I think this is pretty doggone cool, albeit I could probably only afford one month if I actually tried this, but boy, what a month that would be, wouldn't it? Next up on the list, more mobility service news. This is a brand new scalable platform from the folks over at General Motors. This is called Surus. That basically stands for a Silent Utility Rover Universal Superstructure. Basically what you're looking at is a big flat plate, but underneath it, it's got four-wheel steering and a hydrogen or fuel cell uh, engine power plant. That gives you up to 400 miles of range. And this thing is hugely scalable. You can make this up to pretty much do whatever you so desire. Maybe you've got this doing some work down at the docks, pulling off big container ships off of ships and putting them away in other parts of the plant. But then maybe you want to set this thing up for someone to drive it. General Motors is actually looking at doing this stuff a little bit of a scalable program for the military where they could actually use this on off-road platforms all over the planet. Maybe you want to put a medical unit on the back of it, maybe a food service deal as well. This thing is hugely scalable, hugely configurable, where you can really buy the base unit and then buy all the little pod sections of what you want to do with this, and then you can basically just change them out. Neat setup. It'll be interesting to see whether General Motors ever puts this into production. I think it would be pretty doggone cool if they did. Albeit it would probably be somewhat of a niche market, but what a niche market to be in. Next up on the list, this is a story that is going to kind of be about Sebastian Oshie, but it's actually not about Sebastian Oshie at all, but this is how my mind works, so just hang with me. This is the ramblings of a bald fat man who likes to ramble on the internets. 
Sebastian Auger, who's a four-time World Rally Championship champion over the past four years in a row with the Volkswagen Group. When Volkswagen dissolved the team at the end of 2016, he was kind of without a ride and made a big leap of faith by going to M-Sport. Out of the four teams that actually compete, four manufacturers that is, that compete in the World Rally Championship, this is the only non-factory team. Now, M-Sport does get funding from the Ford Motor Company, but it's not a full-fledged factory operation. But OJ made a leap of faith and went with this organization. Now, with just two rallies left in the calendar, he's on the cusp of becoming a five-time, five-in-a-row world champion. But there's a lot of things on OJ's mind, one of them being he wants to be with a factory team. In fact, he wanted to be with a factory team when he came to M Sport, but it was kind of just one of those deals where this was his best option. And it looks like it's going to be a good option in the end. Now let's circle back to Ford Motor Company because they made an interesting announcement over the past several days where they're actually going to pull all of their funding, that being Ford funding, out of the Global World Rallycross Series that is running all over the planet along with their longtime driver, Ken Block. Now, the Global Rallycross Series is a pretty interesting series, but it's not near the scalable as Ford would probably like if they wanted to go world rallying. The trick is world rallying is exceptionally expensive, but the eyes on that sport are way larger than what is on the Global Rallycross Series. So this is what I thought when I first heard this. I can remember one of the heads of Ford Performance and the Ford Motorsport side of things was at Rally Monte Carlo this year. In fact, a rally that their four-time champion new driver, Sebastian Ogier, actually won. He was ecstatic to be a part of the celebration process, and he did promise more funding coming up very soon, especially now that this team's in championship form. Now, there is a couple of tricks, because there's a lot of rumors that Sebastian Ogier is on his way out, that he is looking for another team. The trick is he may be trying to play that card where he wants a factory team, and if Ford bumps up the funding, he may stay at M-Sport, along with his teammate, Oit Tanek, who has had a heck of a season this year, in fact, pulling out one of his first wins. He's also inside of this team. There's a lot of rumors that he's going to be going over to Toyota to team up with Yari Mati Lafita and Esapeka Lappi. So if Ford can throw down a month cash, maybe they can keep these two star drivers together for another season. So we'll have to wait and see. Albeit the only story is, is that Ford and Ken Block are leaving Global Rallycross. I made this into a way bigger story than that. This may not be the case. This may not even be true on this situation. I can't say the Global Rallycross deal is real, but we'll have to wait and see on the other front. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.